Hi, this is Dustin with TechMD. Today we're going to be repairing uh, a Moto X X2, not the original X, but the X2, much larger, has the grill speakers on the top and bottom. If you're trying to inquire customers on what kind of device they have, some people just don't know that they have the 2015 edition. Okay, um, so the touchscreen fully works on this, and we're going to actually remove the glass and fuse and bond this. Do not and a lesson learned on the on the Joy Turbo, and I'm assuming the same thing here. Do not fuse and bond from the top, as the glue can get into um, speakers and uh, cameras and stuff like that. It's just not worth the risk on the higher end phone. Um, so we're going to go in from the back and remove the whole thing, remove the LCD, and separate the glass and fuse and bond this glass to it. Please don't forget the orientation of the screen here so that way you know uh, what to install and which direction to install it as you're taking it apart. Um, the reason why we're making these videos here is to show others that we can do this type of repair um, and to show technicians on how to do this repair. Also if you're interested in becoming a technician with TechMD you can go to our website at www dot tech hyphen md dot com and click on the franchising info to learn more if you're not a tech or if you're already a technician and you want to join forces with us that's great you can still do your own thing still make your own money and we'll send you customers and you get to become a part of a growing large number of techs across the nation if you're home based or if you have a store we can work with you. So first things first is we're going to use a Wagner heat gun and at 950 degrees. Get nice and warm but not too hot. Just enough to soften up the heat sift. I would say a little below hot to touch. Your metal edges are going to be pretty hot though. So uh, actually hot enough for me to put my glove on. <laughs> Please make sure your device is off. And then just go in just a little bit to start cutting the adhesive around. Make sure you don't turn on the device. This thing is really glued on all over the place. Okay, I just turned it on, darn it. It's really hard not to turn it on. Okay. So we're gonna wait until it turns off here. Nope, that's gonna start freezing probably. As you can see here, that's where you don't want to get. I think the power button's down below here. There's the power cable right here. Actually unclip it. There we go. Now it's not gonna turn on anymore. Bottom right corner of the phone, guys. Okay, now that we got that turned off, now we can warm up the center. That's where the, the battery is, and that's where I didn't want to warm it up anymore, why, especially why it's on. So I recommend uh, like a magnetic pad, or just a separate board that's gonna be separate from this, so that way it's not going to 
you're not going to bump your screws out of the way because there is a bunch of screws on this thing. So those are all your cables that you gotta really just watch out for. So I just try to avoid that. And that's one of the cables I lifted up. And then there's the power button cable. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to put our screws on the second plate here. Or a magnetic pad, like I said. So these old T, um, I think they're T4 or something along those lines. Get your very tiny screwdriver. I know exactly which one mine is. It's this one here. And let's start unscrewing. Now they're all the same except for, I think this one's slightly different and possibly these three. They're different colors, so I'm assuming they might be different. So we're gonna unscrew this, 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 that. That, 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 and that, and these three here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video so that way we can hurry up along. Okay, so now all the screws are finally removed here. We don't want them moving around or going anywhere, like I said, separate plate. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out here. SIM card reader. Card popper there. Just run your finger along, it should just come off really nice and smooth. Okay. Alright, now there's some captain's tape on our connections here, and we got to remove them. Take our knife here and just pop this con connection off. That's our digitizer. And this is our LCD. Okay, now we pop those connections there. Just lift them up. Nice twisting motion. Make sure you watch out for these resistors. If you're going to use a metal tool, you can always use a plastic tool, but it's just a habit of mine to use metal. I know a lot of people don't like using metal, but it works good for me. It's very precise. Okay, so this is glued onto the board a little bit. We're going to just warm it up very slightly. Probably about four seconds there. And now it's nice and soft and it comes right up. Pretty straightforward there. This might fall off, so just move this out of the way here. And I think this board is slightly stuck on with some glue. Shouldn't be any... I just did a little twisting motion and it popped out right out of that clip there. there it's not too terrible of a phone to dismantle. Just a lot of screws. The hard part really is just this this frame, it's just a real big pain in the butt. That's all. Okay, so we're gonna try to salvage this frame here. You wanna be really careful and not to damage it. It's basically Gorilla glued all around, and then we're gonna have to scrape off the Gorilla Glue. Um, so I reuse the Gorilla Glue, and, uh, or re-adhesive it once we put it all back together. So first things first, let's go ahead and start picking away at this glass. 
Now if you have one big sheet and just like one slice through, you're gonna have a, a lot more difficulty. But I always warn the customers that these have a higher prone of breaking the glass or the LCD while doing this. So they either pay the 160 or the 250, whatever I'm successful at. Okay, so we're gonna take our heat gun and just like everything else, we warm it up hot to the touch or a little bit over hot to the touch. Or it's just starting to burn your hands as soon as you touch it. Thank for contact and D. This is Dustin. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, you get basically fifteen dollars off the repair. Which uh, which phone do you have? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, if you buy the Groupon or you just get $15 straight off and that's going to make it 45. That way you don't have to worry about doing the whole Groupon thing. I'm open until 11 p.m. tonight. Yeah. About 15 minutes. Whoop. Yep. Okay, and like I said, you don't have to worry about purchasing it. I'll just go ahead and give you the discount. All right, thank you, have a good one. Yeah, bye. Unfortunately, we don't always have the best timing on answering calls. Uh, everyone is off for the weekend, so I have to answer all the calls for all the locations. We're just doing some picking motion. Just watch carefully how I do this and that way you can focus on doing the same thing. So we wanna still make sure we're hot to the touch here. And if it's starting to get harder to separate like this one here, that's when you know it's time to start warming it up. You wanna break your LCD. That was a pretty difficult one. Should have just actually warmed it up. Don't take the risk, just warm it up. Keep it nice and toasty. Now, the reason why I warm up the whole thing is just to keep heat warmed up evenly, and that way we don't have to constantly keep on warming it up. And it also helps uh, the unit not to bend or warp. Sometimes I warm up the LCD a little bit right there. That's about it. Make sure you get all your big pieces out of the way Why it's warm because it's going to be kind of hard to warm that up if there's no gl glass protecting it. So pick every single piece off is what I'm trying to get up. Looks like so far so good. We're doing really good here, uh, having no issues. So uh, the top piece here is where your camera piece is, and that's where the LCD is, uh, or the LCD connections. So that's exactly where your glass is going to go with the camera.
loves the hard work. Now normally when I do the fusing and bonding, I uh, take the LC out of the unit. But I think what we're going to do on this one here is we might just leave it in the frame and go from there. But we'll see uh, what works best because we want to, this looks like it has to have such perfect alignment. And I'm not sure if I can get that just by uh, looking at it. Like the Galaxy 5, it has some lenient way. I don't even know if they'll let me do that though, but we'll see. I still might get glue in the speaker, so I don't even know. I'd love to do it that way, but I don't think it's going to work. really hot this time. Actually, the last one I was doing broke right at the end too. It really sucked. I'm gonna make sure none of that glass gets under the screen. Just kick it off your tool there. Keep your tool as flat as possible, very important. And just go slow and if you feel like there's too much pressure, stop and try to do a different piece or move to a different area of the piece. But once you get the glue removed, then you can slice the piece off. Trying to do that first. It's not you're not gonna always be able to do that. See how much resistance that side piece just gives me just because it's so glued on. So I'm worried about breaking the screen here, so I'm gonna not focus on that last that little tiny piece there. As you keep it warm and, and nice and toasty, and as you lose more and more glass, as you you know pick more and more off, the actual foam will heat up faster. That's because you have less glass to warm up, obviously. So just be aware of that. And you know, it always takes longer to warm up a cold foam versus a hot foam that's already kind of toasty. Um, so be aware of that as well. So try to do this un uninterrupted. Hence why, you know, I'll just go ahead and answer the phone. Because I don't want to get interrupted, but I don't want anyone to miss this. Make sure you keep your board pretty clean. You don't want to scrape up anything. Okay.
if you start seeing it turn really light blue, that means it's about to burn. So stop and check your temperature. If you see it turning yellow, then it's already burning. And you're at the point of no return. Some people will accept a burn screen. You can always give them a discount. Because they really don't want to have to pay that $250 for a new LCD. But others, you know, they're not going to want to accept that. It's fine, you can always save this for later on if you do burn it. Also, it can turn light blue when you're putting pressure on the screen from the tool. Too much light blue can, that's really close to breaking the screen. So just be aware of that. Now, last time I was just trying to remove this glass right here with a little too much heat. And what happened is it turned yellow on the bottom and then it separated the digitizer and LCD, which ruined the screen, unfortunately. Again, watch your heat levels right at the end. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right at the end too. And it's pretty hot. And that's, folks. It's how you break a Moto X LCD. So close. Yeah, it broke right at the end, very end, right where it's the delicate. That's the second time I've broken it right there. Uh, the other time I heated up too much, and this time probably just not enough heat. And so, so we'll finish up this video with the new LCD.